got a guard. I just sold my Tesla motor. <laughs> this is a complete Model S rear subframe, large motor. So it's just sad to see this thing going, but it's gonna go somewhere. It's actually gonna be on a race car. They have two Tesla motors now with this one. And then the other one was first sold by El Morfo, the electric racing race car company that I work for. And then, and then they're like, we want a second Tesla motor. And then Brett, my boss was like, oh, we're only selling one. The other ones we're gonna keep here for projects. And then and I was like, no, I'm gonna keep my one as well. But yeah, I just bought my house. Yeah, finally. And yeah, I have a baby and then maybe a second baby coming soon, don't know. And yeah, like there's not gonna be much time to do this and money as well, because just the Tesla motor is one thing and then you need to mechanically fit into a car or something. And then it's like a lot of like in engineering job, you know, like it's not just like uh, putting things together. You need to start from scratch, right? You need to set the drive shaft in the right angle. It's a lot of power there. And then everything that's gonna hold this thing together from spinning, twisting, and plus the car, like car parts, like a, even like a, the hubs and all, all, the, all the other things that goes together as well. Um, so this, that's why I kept all the original. I was like, I was gonna harvest and, and use the whole subframe as uh, complete, but it's a bit, it's impossible mission to reuse this, I reckon. Um, yeah, anyway, so, and then this is the 700 volts battery pack. It was from a racing motorcycle here in Australia. 700 volts, man. So total, it's about 175 volts, 175 volts. 175 volts and 175 volts. They're all connected in series. It's about, I think, 704 volts, fully charged. A lot of series here, man, look. <laughs> 42 series each module, yeah? Um, yeah, anyway, so this is gonna go to my friend. I just sold to him. He wants to do some uh, lightweight racing motorcycle stuff. It's more like a push bike motorcycle stuff, all right? And then he is really keen on this. He's like, I'm taking, I'm taking. <laughs> I'm like, okay, because I need to move. Like, I can't have lipos and stuff like that, sitting there for many years in my new house. And yeah, this thing's gonna go. So look, there's heaps of stuff here. I'm gonna be coming and talking a little bit about this, but just gonna quick walk around first. So yeah, you see there's like the drive shaft here and then the cups, uh, these cups, they actually go fit right here. Yeah, and the differential inside, you see. Woo! there's coolant and heaps of stuff happening inside there um all right so this is uh, i was doing a bit of a clean up here this is the day when my baby was born i was doing a clean up and then the baby was just born and then i left like i just stopped working here right so this is the way it was and then this is after my clean up job and i did the same like with all the cups everything is looking nice and beautiful and protected now and yeah you see here like a, this is the one that i start cleaning up and that's the one that was, it's got a crack here uh because uh we re we use so this pretty much like a, this subframe so this motor everything was good in the car and then we actually had to use some parts from the subframe to fix another car and i kept the one that i had some small damage and then i was like yeah it's fine i just replaced one or two parts here put together and it's going to be fine but you know, I end up never using or doing anything with this. So yeah, you see, like we just did some TIG welding here just to get things going, but end up never putting together. So clean, dirty. Yeah, under the car was gonna be dirty, but my idea was actually, I was gonna be using this to do more like a, everything exposed and nice and raw, you know, like you see the whole thing would be, everything would be very visual. You know, like a medium bolts and nuts here. <laughs> Yeah, but I end up, you know, like it's one of these projects that you start and you're like, yeah, it's gonna be like this. And you you start to see the cost. And then I was like, I'm just gonna get this battery for cheap. Yeah, so this module is actually all cells here. From here to here, they're all zero volts. That's why this pack is puffing like this. And yeah, so the top cells are okay. The bottom cells are okay. But yeah, you'd be using, but this is 400 volts. So I would be using two modules here, right, in series to get the voltage I want here. And then have a spare module here, just sitting there, just in case. 
And yeah, the other cell is just gonna be pulled apart and, and it goes in a recycling vein, something. So yeah, this is the wiring harness that connects uh, the coolant pump, the, all the communication. Uh, yeah, so it's, there's a you know, sensor here on the side as well uh, for the pump. And then this is the main connector that goes to the Tesla motor, the logic board. And yeah, so the smaller motor, it's got a smaller connector. Yeah, but pretty, pretty much the same. And right, so let's talk about the electrical electronics here, all right? So this, as you see here, I show in previous videos, but I'll just talk everything back again. So <laughs> this is the motor controller. This is the motor. The motor goes from here to here, okay? And then here in the middle, it's a reduction gear, bring a high RPM motor down to wheel speed. And then, so all this part in the middle here, it's just like heaps of, uh, like a very fancy and heavy duty gears, okay? And then here's a dry, um, differential. So this is all cars, they gotta have differential between, so when you're going around corners, you need one, like the wheels spinning different speed, okay? So mechanically, and that's pretty standard for any car. And this is the motor controller. So you see here, it's pretty smart. Why are they doing this way? You know, like in the tube, is that to look nice and cool? No, it's actually, very clever, very smart. So you, you start thinking about, uh, like from an engineer point of view, it's actually pretty amazing, right? So this is where you get the 400 volts, 350 volts nominal uh, attached to the motor. Okay? And you need some electronic commands to get this thing going, right? So here's the logic board. This board here, see if you can do me. Yeah. So this is the computer, right? So this is all, all the connection, the logic stuff is connected to. Uh, and then from here, it fires commands to these boards here, which is the gate drive board. And then this is actually driving the power MOSFETs here, RGBTs, whatever you wanna call this. Okay, so this is the power section. And then for each phase, you're gonna have two of them. Okay, so you're gonna have one here, and one here. So this board is controlling these two ones on the top. And this is one phase. This is a three phase motor. And then you have another one there. So there's another power section there for that particular phase. And another one here down the bottom. See, there's like a, another one here. Two, two. Yeah, it's beautiful, right? Eh? And then it's got like a nice gel here. I'm just gonna go to the same spot that we touch. Yes. Ooh. Yeah, so this is a nice conformal coating, more like a protection of the MOSFETs. And because these things, they get hot and cold, there's a lot of expansion contraction here. Uh, so yeah, it's nice to have something flexible like this uh, that can actually keep up with expansion contraction, expansion contraction. When you get a lot of current, you expand and it cools down, contraction. Cool, so that's why they have this very, very flexible uh, coating on top of everything. And this is it. <clears throat> so this is the, um, oh yeah, the high voltage cables here. I'm just gonna show here. So this is uh, ultrasonic weld. Uh, how can I show this? It's ultrasonic weld here. So you see, uh, they press and vibrate on top of this copper plate. So this is a copper plate here. Uh, yeah, so they press and vibrate and then this thing fuse together. Even the wire strains here, so this is all fused together with vibration. So this whole thing. <laughs> and then you have, so this is a normal cable here, single layer. And then from here, there's like a EMF shield, okay? So this is actually like a second, very, very thick layer from here. It is connected to this uh, crimping thing. So you see here, they actually crimp all the shield here. And this is electrically connected. It's kind of like a, everything is a big ground. So, that, because when you pass like heaps of current, this will generate uh, like a, a EMF, okay, electronic magnetic field. So you don't want this going and interfering with the whole car, okay? So it actually drives all the electronics insane. And this is what you see, it was so hard to cut the thing. So hard, you have no idea. This is a stainless steel uh, shield, plus all the copper inside. So it's not very easy task to cut, okay? <laughs> Pretty intense. This is the Damien board. So this is the logic board with Wi-Fi here, Wi-Fi module. So it's just kept here nice and safe. This is the very, very, very last board 
made by Damien Maguire. So he was actually first one, I think, to hack the Tesla motor and did an open source. And then he was selling the PCBs to make some money. Yeah, but and then the project got too crazy. And then he had to, he's like, I'm not doing this Tesla S anymore. I'm not doing this. It's just too crazy. People, yeah, they go nuts. And lots of people who don't understand anything about uh, technical electronics and anything. So they just like a pretty much like a frying boards, like a in the, <laughs> there's no tomorrow. And then trying to claim warranty was just a nightmare. And then he had to actually go like, no, look, I'm not doing this anymore. He did three, four times say, oh, look, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna stop. And then eventually stopped. So this is the very, very last, very last that he made. Okay. Uh, you're right. So then that's it. So this is the uh, the goodbye story of my Tesla motor and yeah it's gonna go somewhere and I'm gonna be doing the electrical for the race car <laughs> for two motors Wah! beauty see you later Tesla motor I'll see you very soon ah, yeah!